Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and um, we are going to do a fall DIY craft or whatever you want to call it tonight. So um, I hope you enjoy this craft. I've changed my mind about three or four times. Hey, I see people hopping on. Hey Nancy, um, I changed my mind several times before I went on and my camera's crooked. So it's funny how Sometimes you think you know what you want to do. I'm trying to move my camera, guys. It's all wonky. Okay. I'm kind of crooked, but it's okay. Hey, guys. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Paige. Hey, Tina from Ohio and Jennifer. Yes, thank you for sprinkling. Um, I changed my mind about four or five times before I went live, so I was running around trying to figure out... Um, what I was going to do, because I, you know, you think you got in your mind what you want to do, and then all of a sudden your mind changes, and like, no, I don't want to do that, <laughs> so I changed my mind, hey, Colin, um, hey, everybody, okay, so we are going to take, um, if y'all saw my post a couple weeks ago, or so, last weekend, I think, I ran across some, um, a big bin of scrap wood on the side of the road, people here where I live, they, when they don't want something, they want to, I guess, do away with it or give it away for free or what have you, um, they, um, they put it on the side of the road, okay, on the side in front of their house. Thank you for sprinkling, Pamela. Um, so, I was in my neighborhood coming home or something from Walmart, and they had this bunch of stuff out front, and they had this big Tupper, Tupperware, Rubbermaid container, I guess you call it, full of um, scrap wood. So, I got, I could, there was a couple of pieces like this in there. It looks like it was just an old piece of weathered, maybe fence board or something. It came just like this. I did run over it with my little sanding block and I'm gonna do something uh, cute and fallish with this. Hey, Casey. Hey, Becky. Hey, Lynn. All right, everybody's here. I get to talk to y'all. Somebody don't complain about me talking to my friends. <laughs> so anyway, um, it wouldn't be any fun if I just came on here and crafted it and didn't even talk to you. Um, so anyway, so, um, we're going to take this piece of wood and I'm going to make a scarecrow out of it. Okay. I had something totally opposite from what I'm doing tonight. And like I said, I changed my mind, uh, you know, somewhere along the way I was getting everything out and I was like, no, I'm going to do this. So I wanted to play with this scrap wood. So anytime you see anybody taking fence boards down or any kind of wood, or if people are building houses near you. That's a great place to get scrap wood. Usually they'll let you get it. They don't care because usually the builders will burn it anyway. So um, just get you some scrap wood. So this is just a piece of, like I said, it was already like this. I didn't cut it or anything. I love it because it's got these nail holes that are rusted and running down. But we're going to paint it a little bit too and cover that up. But, you know, I'm not going to do too, too much to it. Okay, so let me grab... One thing real quick right here so I can show y'all what I did. Because I've already done a little bit beforehand. And, um, hey, Barb from Nebraska and Carolyn, happy Monday. That's why I like Monday. Hey, Sprinkle from Laurel, Mississippi. Deborah, I'm, I'm not actually from there far too, originally from far too, far, too far from Laurel. I can't talk. I'm from Meridian, Mississippi originally. Oh, good, Debbie. You got your gnomes. Cool. Um, anyway, so if y'all are wondering about my store, um, I have a bunch of stuff cut. When I get off tonight, I'm going to get on the computer, I'll put everything in, and it's all going to be up again. And as your request, I have the little trucks that are going up tonight. They're little. They're not the big ones, so they're the little bitty ones. They're five and a half inches, and those will be in there tonight too, but I don't have the big ones. So it's because I had to kind of pick and choose of what all I, I was able to cut in time for tonight so um these are here's one that's painted and it cute <laughs> and see the little wheels come separate and the wheels are you know they're glued on they're like 3d they stick let me get my finger out of the way so you can see they stick out so that you just glue them on so then that cute don't they cute um oh wow lynn that's a good deal truck load for three yes always be on lookout for scrap wood because you can turn scrap wood into anything Great to craft with. Um, hey, everybody that's just hopping on. Okay, so I got my wood. It's got this side and this side. I think I'm going to use this side, this side. So what I did was ahead of time, I took a painter stick. You can get these at Walmart. I can't remember how many they come to a pack. Maybe, I don't know, 10 to a pack maybe, I think, for like 
I don't know, a dollar or two. They're not expensive, but they're great to craft with. Um, so I, what I already did was ahead of time, where's my little saw? I took my little Dollar Tree hacksaw that they sell this for a dollar and I cut off right at the handle, like right here. See where that little dippy down part is? I cut it right across there. So I have this. I just have a straight piece of wood. I mean, you could use anything for this. Um, thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Jennifer, for sprinkling. Um, so I have this, you know, this piece here where I just cut off the handle and the handles around here somewhere. Here it is. The handles around here somewhere. So there it is. So I just sawed it in half with my trusty, dusty little Dollar Tree little hacksaw. So if you don't have one of these from the Dollar Tree, pick it up because you can use it. <laughs> I cut dowels with it and all kinds of stuff. Um, you were walking around Dollar Tree telling me, oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Okay. So I cut the handle off, okay? And I'll use this for something else, okay? I can make a miniature scarecrow out of this and put a popsicle stick across here. So as you know, this is probably gonna, this is gonna be um, his, his hat, like the brim of his hat. But we're gonna dress him up cute. Y'all have probably seen this done. Um, I know I've done it before. Um, <laughs> you love my verb, it's just funny. I, I have little words for all kinds of stuff. I make up words. <laughs> so anyway. So that's gonna be the brim of his hat, okay? And if you wanna get really extra, extra, you could do the front, a scarecrow, okay? And then turn around and take another stick and put it on the back and paint it like a snowman. So you can have a um, Lee language, that's right, Nancy, to make a snowman, that's right, Lou. You could do either, either one, okay? You could do it reversible. So um, I'm just gonna do the scarecrow tonight and, um, they're out of paint sticks and say they can't get any. Wow, really? Well, I know Lowe's and Home Depot, places like that, they have them all the time. Some some places will even give them to you for free. So if they have like the words and stuff on them, you can sand those off or paint them or whatever. So it's not a big deal. Um, um, anyway, so I have love making scarecrows. I do too. So it's not a pumpkin craft tonight because I told y'all I'm going to wear y'all out with the pumpkins. But um, so I'm going to do a scarecrow tonight. So, um, hey, Kimberly. Hey, Judy. Amazon has them. Yes, ma'am, they sure do. You can get them in bulk at Amazon, too, if you can't, don't have a Lowe's or Home Depot or anything, or a Walmart near you. You can get them on Amazon. Um, but yeah, you can get them there. So, we are going to, I'm going to paint up my little scarecrow, my board, and I am not going to do, um, y'all know I got to have a little, um, a little extra is what I'm going to make him a little extra. So we're gonna do a little bit of uh, different colors on our scarecrow tonight. I'm not gonna do him like the traditional fall colors. Of course, I'm gonna paint mine turquoise. <laughs> I'm gonna paint his hat turquoise. I think it's a great color for that is kind of new for fall right now. So I'm gonna do that. Hey Debbie from Kentucky, got my gnomes today that you drew. Can't wait to decorate with. Them. Oh good, I'm glad you got them. They've been out of. They're out of star sticks i can't believe that wow okay so i don't know why they're out but amazon i know has them too but um so here's my star stick i just got to decide where i'm going to put it and how far down i'm going to put it so um i need to get a little pen or something and i'm just going to kind of draw me a line so i'll know how far down i want to paint paint sticks for 39 cents that's not bad if you just can't get them anywhere else that's not bad but I don't want to do it straight across. I mean, you very well could do it straight across and it would be just fine. But I'm going to kind of slant it to an angle like that. So I'm going to slant it. And, um, and I did sand the end down after I cut it. So I did do that. But I want to leave enough room for his face. But I want to leave enough, you know, have some stuff at the top for his hat. So I'm just going to kind of make me some little guidelines so I'll know how far down to actually paint. Okay? So I just... I just made little marks, and you're not going to be able to see them when they when I get done. Here's the other one is right there. So I made a mark over here, and I made a mark over there where I, where I'm gonna put my paint stick, so I'll know how far to paint, to to paint. Lowe's told me it'd be weeks before they will have them. What is the deal? I know it's COVID. Everything's because of COVID. Um, finish my welcome pumpkin sign. Love it. Next, I want one of the gnomes in the trucks. Well, like I said, when I jump off tonight, I'm going to actually put stuff up and there'll be, you know, I have the blessed sign like this up here. I have um, the pumpkins for the welcome sign. I have the little trucks, 
the Santa Noms are back, and um, is that all? It blessed pumpkins, Santa Noms, and the little trucks. Yes, that's it. <laughs> I had to think about it. Oh, Menards has them too. See, we don't have a Menards down here. I think that's like a northern thing. So, um, I wish we did because I hear people talk about Menards and I wish we had one. Ace Hardware, they have them too. Places like that. If you have a local hardware store, a mom and pop one, they probably have them. Crafters are buying them all. Yep, yeah, probably Teresa. Okay, so I just put a little turquoise. You can use any color you want to. I just want to do a little something, something different. That's all. I just want to, you know, kind of do a little different. And I'm just basically, I'm not, I don't want to paint it solid. I still want to have some of that old wood showing through. Um, if you wanted to take a brand new piece of wood and do this, you could, you could make it look old before you even started. That's not really hard at all to do either. But I was trying to do something that was not a pumpkin tonight. <laughs> Cause y'all gonna be like, oh God, she's doing another pumpkin. Hey Holly from Buffalo. So I'm just gonna, I'm just barely, y'all can see, I'm just barely kind of brushing it on. I kind of want him to look a little something, something. That's right, Casey. Um, I want to, you know, the wood to show through and let it look a little old. But at the same time, I just want to have a little color. But I don't want to paint it solid. And you can do yours solid. You can do it any way you want to. It's yours. You do it how you want. Um, hey, Lee, I'm late. It's okay, Penny. We just got started. I just have a piece of scrap wood, and I'm just brushing on some turquoise paint. I've cut my paint stick for my brim of my scarecrow hat. So, that's what I'm doing. So, um, that's all I'm doing. I'm just brushing a little on. See, I just barely have it to cover it because I still want it to look kind of vintage, old. And I'm going to paint the sides a little just to... Just because you might you might see the side. But if you do a snowman on the other side, <laughs> he's going to have blue on his uh, hat. But you could do a snowman with a blue hat. Who said they have to be black? They don't have to be. So I'm just going to kind of paint it on the top. You're okay, Trisha. Hey, Sue. Menards, 32 miles. Oh, wow. See, I've never even been to Menards because they're up north and I, I've never been to one. We have like Ace Hardware and Lowe's and Home Depot and that kind of stuff. But I sure did not know that there was a shortage of paint sticks amongst paint and other things that we can't get. <laughs> Us crafters are, oh good, you got your gnomes today. Awesome, Deidre. Okay, just put my water's way over here. I don't know why. And I don't know why I actually, um, I actually washed my brush out because I got to paint the brim of his hat. From the dirty, the dirty South, Jersey that is. That's funny. Okay, so I was kind of debating how to make his hat. His, you know, this is brand new wood, and of course this is old wood. So I got to figure out how I'm gonna do this. I kind of think maybe I might paint it gray first, and then go over it with some blue. So this is Waverly. Uh, it's steel. I know you can't read that, but it's a little bottle of steel. <coughs> Goodness, I got something in my throat again. <laughs> Finally got on. Hey, Kevin. Okay, so there's my brim of my hat, my paint stick, aka the paint stick. I'm just going to kind of try to make it look old. So if you're doing a scarecrow and you're doing him out of brand new wood, you could try this and we'll see if we can get it to look like an old piece of wood. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Darlene. I'm doing good tonight. I am. I'm doing really good. Um, it was Monday. It was a good day. Um, it's pretty hit your own. and I know the storms are coming. So if anybody's in the path of the storms that's coming, we'll be saying a prayer for you. Um, cause two of them out there at once is just kind of crazy. I'm sure we're going to get some rain way up here and some wind probably, but y'all need to stay safe if you're in the path of it. Cause you know, it's, uh, it's worrisome. My brother lives on the coast of Mississippi, and he said they're staying, and they're going to ride it out. I said, okay, it's fine. But, you know, they're used to it, some down there where all that happens. They, they're pretty they're pretty accustomed and prepared for stuff like that, so. All right. Oh, Polly, you're sweet. Hey, from Crystal from New Jersey. Okay. So I got that just kind of painted a little bit of gray. I didn't paint it solid. It's just kind of brushed on, just one little coat. 
So I'm gonna try to make it look a little old. So I'm just gonna, this is some um, uh, espresso, it's Anita's, you can get it at Hobby Lobby, it's called espresso. I'm just gonna try to, try to make it look old before I paint it blue, if that makes sense. Hey, Wendy from Iowa, wow, we got people all over. So I just put a little bitty bit of this espresso on my brush and I'm just gonna kinda give it a little bit of old look before I paint the blue over it, because I want it to look old, because it's a new piece of wood, and it doesn't match my scarecrow. So, um, we're just gonna make it look a little bit, little bit vintage, old, roughed up wood, whatever you wanna say. So, oh, Evelyn, welcome. So see, I just brushed on a little bit of that. I hope you stick around, El Evelyn, and follow my page, and you can tap the screen and hit the little dots up there and it'll notify you get notified when I go live and I go live on Mondays at 7:30 central time and I go live on Fridays at 7:30 central time. Um so that's when I that's when I do my thing and it's kind of like TV like when that's when my favorite show comes on. <laughs> so I'm just uh I got that looking about like that. But it kind of it kind of matches. It looks a little bit more matchy matchy to my old wood. My dogs are barking over something in there. It's okay, Jennifer. You're not missing anything. We're just chatting and painting a piece of wood. Yes, we're praying for everybody that's in the in the way of the storms. Y'all be safe. And I hope it. You know, I think one of them got reduced today, right? To a uh, tropical storm, the one that's going toward Texas. I think is what I heard. I haven't watched. So now I'm just gonna go, that's kind of drying. Let me let it dry a minute. Yay, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, you got your blessed pumpkin today. Oh, good, Wilma. Yeah, Wilma, I packed both of yours separately because I just kind of go down the list and get to packing. And if they're not really close to each other, I'll go, oh, I just packed a package for her. Oh, well, she's getting two. So sometimes I don't uh, know that they're together, so but it's okay, it'll get to you one way or the other. Yes, everybody pray for the people that are in the zones and um, lost your 14 year old dog yesterday and need a distraction. Oh, Heidi, I'm so sorry. I, I understand, I lost a, um, I had a dog that was 16 one time and that was my first baby before I had kids and I can very well understand if they're a member of your family. Um, so yes, I can very well understand fires in California. Oh my gosh, fires and COVID and tornadoes and I mean, not tornadoes, hurricanes. So I put some more blue on there and I'm just going to kind of do the same thing that I did. I'm going to try to get it to look, to kind of match. And of course, you know, it's going to look a little different just because it was new wood and that's old wood, but we're going to try. So I'm just kind of dry brushing a little bit and be sure to do your edges too. You want it to look right all the way around. Do my ends a little bit. California news prayers there on fire. That happens every year. And I, I'm not, you know, familiar with what causes the fires in California. That's, that's what I don't, I'm not real uh, knowledgeable about that. So somebody tell me why why does it all, why does it happen every year? Is it just the heat or I don't I don't know why it starts. So they just start or somebody starts a fire and it's so dry that it burns. I don't I, I don't ever know what um what causes. So I'm just I painted this way. So now I'm gonna paint this way. Okay, just to give it a little different kind of a textured look to it, like old wood, because this kind of is textured over here. So I'm just basically trying to get it all matchy matchy. Lightning strikes cause all of these. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Um, but I know it's dry out there too. Um, it's real humid here. Lightning storm. Wow. Because I know one year, didn't somebody set them deliberately or something and all that? Okay. So that's kind of matching. Sort of, kind of. Let me see. Let me put it up here so y'all can see. Let me get it lined up. That don't look too bad. So that's what it's going to look like. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Ooh, got it all over my fingers. I have droughts and it's dry. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought in lightning. Um, 
Oh, your 17 year old dog. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm so sad. That's sad. Yes. The puppy dogs are your babies for sure. I know ours are. Let me dry that really fast. I'm going to take long for it to dry. Did you make the beaded pumpkin behind you? I did. I actually did that one on a live. Um, it's been a few weeks ago, but yes, it's a, it's a beaded pumpkin. It's wire. It's wire jute, but if I had to do it again, I wouldn't use the wire jute because it really doesn't matter in the end. But yes, I have a, a video. It's been a couple of weeks ago or three weeks ago, um, and there are beads and wire, and then we tied the wire all up together and wrapped jute around it and made us a little bow, and it's a beaded pumpkin. So there's that. So that video's somewhere down there. Okay. So now I'm gonna get my hot glue gun, and like I said, I have my little my little lines where I drew, so I would know exactly where to paint to, and that's where I'm gonna put my stick on. But you know what? I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna put some distressing around the edges of my hat, just to give it some little dimension. So I put some more of the espresso, and you can use burnt umber. I just grabbed this and said, well, I'm always using burnt umber. Oh, thank you, Cherie. So I'm just taking my chippy chip brush, my chip, and I'm just gonna kinda go around the edges just to give it a little more distressing. Like he's been out in the field and he's old and weathered, and I might brush a little on him just to give it that that little extra dimension to him. So he won't look so just flat and, you know, blah. Not blah, but, you know, gives it a little more detail. It's all in the details. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm just kind of tapping along, if you can see, just tapping along my little paint stick in the brim of his hat. And I got a little too much. And if you get too much, you can always wipe it off or get a baby wipe and just kind of do. So see, it kind of gives it a little dimension on the edges and it really looks old now, but it almost looks a whole different color. <laughs> oh, well, it'll be okay. So that's what I did. So there's, there's my, my wood with my little, I just kind of went and brushed some here and there and I brushed it here and there, but it already has its little character because it's old. So, but the, but it does look a different color, I guess, because I painted the gray under it. But it's okay, because he's supposed to look old and worn. Yeah, welcome newbies. I saw somebody say, welcome newbies. Yes, welcome. If you're new, you can tap my face, and it should take you to, um, it'll ask, it'll have little dots or something up there, and it'll, you can hit when I go live, and you can, you can follow my page. We would love to have you. There's a bunch of um, great and sweet, talented ladies in this group. In my pay on my page and I have a group a free group too and you can join that page It's pinned at the top of the turquoise Valentine page and um, you can join that group and you can share crafts and things like that that you make and um, I'm just amazed at the stuff that people do is amazing is it amazing that there's people ta so talented that can do this kind of stuff okay so I hot glued that on and I got some hot glue that ran over. So there he is with this little hat, this little hat brim. But like I said, you could do the back, a snowman, and you could put another one right here. And you could do, um, you know, paint this black and do the white and do the snowman. Um, so I may have to do that later on. When it gets closer to Christmas, I may have to turn him into a snowman. And you can have a reversible project for both, um, both seasons. So, but <clears throat> just start looking for old wood. You can do anything. And like I said, I could turn this into a scarecrow, just like I did this with a popsicle stick across here. Same thing. You could put it on your tiered tray. Um, all right, so now I gotta make his face. And this is the part I'm nervous about because I'm not the best drawer in the world. I actually have a couple of faces kind of sketched out over here as my cheat sheet <laughs> that I'm gonna try to do his face. So I just gotta decide what I'm gonna do. So um, I think, I think I'm go I got this paint pen. I don't think I might try the paint pen, but I don't know if it's gonna go on this wood or not. Yeah, let's see. So this is where I'm nervous because I'm not the best drawer. Oh, thank you, Linda. It, it's not hard to do. If you just look at it and break the steps down, 
it's not hard. If you look at the project as a whole, then it's like, oh my gosh, I can't do that. But you just start at one step and then do each step and it makes the whole picture. So it's not really hard. Um, oh, thank you, Shannon. You're so sweet. I could add a crow. Yeah, we're going to add some stuff to him. So I'm going to draw his eyes. I got to look at my cheat sheet over here and see what I'm going to do to him. Um, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do some, some oval eyes. So all I'm doing is taking that pen and you could paint this on or you could do it with a Sharpie. So I just drew an oval and I'm going to draw another oval. This is not even anything like what I just, I sketched out to start with. <laughs> I'm totally going rogue on that. And I'm just going to color it in. And this isn't coloring as great as I wanted it to, but um, maybe I should have painted it, but I guess it doesn't like the wood, but it's working. Let's see what y'all are saying. Oh, great. Yeah, we have some newbies. Thank you for watching. I hope you follow my page and stick around. Like I said, there's a bunch of sweet, talented women in here. They share their stuff over on my free group. And, um, it, and there, it's just unbelievable that, that people take something that I make and then they add all this stuff to it and then they post it in the group and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's even better than mine. It looks awesome. Um, but it's, it's just unbelievable at the, the crafts that people come up with and add stuff to and add lights and all these embellishments and stuff. It's just unbelievable. Okay, so there's his little eyes right there. So we gotta give him some eyebrows because we want him to have a little bit of um, little character. So I'm gonna draw some eyebrows. <laughs> Let me see what kind of eyebrows I think he should have. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of draw some little eyebrows. So see, so this is not hard, guys. I took a board, I painted half of it blue, made a stick, painted it blue. I painted two ovals, and then I painted some little lines above his eyes. That's all I've done. So it's not hard at all. Can you see the gnomies? Which gnomes are you talking about? The ones up here? Because I had a bunch of gnomes up here. <laughs> Ordering the pumpkins, but there's all that. Okay, well, Maggie, they're going to be back uh, tonight. As soon as I get off the live, I'm going to go to my shop, and I'm going to load stuff back up, and they'll be back up again. Um, so, I just didn't do it while I was live because my phone would be ding, 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 ding. So, <laughs> I didn't want that. So, all right, so I got his little... His little eyebrows and his eyes. So, not hard. Y'all can draw ovals, right? That's not hard. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Did you make the Buffalo Check Apothecary Box? I actually did. They were little um, wood boxes that I got from Dollar Tree. And I glued, I painted them all black. I glued the um, scrapbook paper on and um, glued them all together. And then I put little square things for the knobs and little feet on it. And that's how that is. There's a video for that, too. The name of my group is uh, the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. So, it's a place for y'all to post all your crafts and all that fun stuff. And everybody comments and all kinds of stuff. We have a lot of fun in there. There's lots of talented people. Okay. So, now, let me see my cheat sheet. Okay. I think I'm going to do a triangle for his nose. So, I'm going to just do a big, long I think this is an isosceles triangle. Is that, am I saying that right? Y'all see it in a minute. Y'all tell me. But it doesn't have to be perfect because it's a scarecrow. Okay. So there's his nose right there. So it's a triangle. Y'all can draw triangles. Um, is that isosceles? Somebody tell me. I know there's a teacher on here somewhere. Geometry, something. Tell me that's isosceles triangle. Okay. So now for his mouth. Um... I'm going to just kind of do a little squiggly line in the shape of a smile. I see this on camera and I want to show y'all. Do y'all remember the night that I did, um, I did the welcome sign on Katie's page on Junk to Jewels and my son called at the, at the very end and I reached over to the phone and laid my arm down and that's my burn from my glue gun. <laughs> oh Lord. And it, it, it hurt. So, but I had to keep going. <laughs> so anyway, so, I'm just going to kind of do a squiggly mouth, just a little squiggly, and I'm going to do in some little turn up little things. Look, see how cute that is? Isn't that cute? All 
right? So then I'm gonna make him some little stitches. So I'm just gonna make some little X's on his little mouth. And yes, I, you can paint this on with a paintbrush. Oh, my shirt, that is from Brooke Riley with Refab. This is from her shop. She actually drew this design. Um, she's my coach and I'm in her group and she she designed her own shirt and she sells them in her at Refab Boutique. Um, yeah, ouch, that hurt. It blistered up like immediately. It was a blister out to here when I got off my live. I was like, oh my goodness. But I put, I have an aloe plant and I broke some, I broke one of my aloe leaves off and I got the stuff out of it and I put it on there and put one of those sealed band-aids and it, um, the next morning it had gone down and it was wonderful. Lots better. Okay. So I just put little, little X's on his mouth, kind of like little stitches. Y'all can see him. And I might add one up here on his nose. Let's see. But we're gonna paint his nose and we're gonna make him come to life a little bit. Like Frosty the Snowman. He came to life one day. <laughs> we're gonna make him come to life. This is um, Spiced Carrot from Apple Barrel. Hey, Hildy, Circle Sister, that's right. Isosceles Triangle, yay! Got it right. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if that was right, but it just came to my mind, and I thought, I think that's an isosceles triangle. Do elephants take a lot of care? No, Kaylee, they don't. And I'll tell you, y'all know, I showed y'all a picture that I, I can kill some cactuses, because I can. And so, um, I've had it, a, a co-worker gave it to me like four years ago, and I still have it, and it's growing, it's getting big. So, it's doing fine. So, I'm just going to, I got a little paintbrush, just a little flat angled brush. And I've got some of this spiced carrot. And we're going to paint his nose in a little bit. But I'm going to leave the black outline. Because I want to have a little bit of definition to his nose. But I, you could totally just paint in the shapes if you wanted to. I just thought it was easier to draw it with a paint pen. But if you don't have a paint pen, you can totally just paint, you know, paint your lines in your mouth and all that good stuff. Okay. So look how cute he looks cute <laughs> and I'll give you an idea of something else that you can use to do this with Dollar Tree has clipboards and they're on that that MDF board you could use that you could use a sign from Dollar Tree and do this too if you don't have scrap wood so there's just all kinds of things just anything that's rectangle you could totally do it with that so I'm just giving him a good coat on his nose okay so he looks really cute so far, that adds a little pop of color. And I think I'm gonna give him some cheeks. But I don't know if I should, um, I oh, thank you, Mary, y'all are sweet. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna do, should I do some pink cheeks or not? I got this real light pink. So should I give him some little, little cheek, cheek dots or whatever? Y'all know what I'm talking about, rosy cheeks. I want him to look a little bit, um, a little bit uh, come to life. <laughs> so see, this is not hard. Y'all could do this with your kids, your grandkids. You could do this. Um, trying to find them. I don't have a brush out here to do it with. Maybe I ought to get this little brush. I got, here's my, y'all see my nasty paint jar? <laughs> I know yours looks like that too. And yes, I have drank paint water before. <laughs> I have, and I've stuck my paintbrush in my drink before, so vice versa. So I think I'm gonna give him some little, maybe just a little bit of rosy cheeks. Maybe, we'll see. I can always sand it off. Cheeks, okay, y'all are saying cheeks. So I'm just, I'm barely just gonna, just kinda brush it on. I'm not gonna want it to be solid. So I'm just gonna kinda just do it real light. You could even water your paint down for this. And my brush is a little wet, so that's perfect. Because I don't want it to be just, just circles. I want it to be kind of a blended look where it's just real light and soft. Oh, yeah. I think that's cute. <laughs> look how cute he looks. He looks really cute. Okay. I'm just surprised myself sometimes because um, I love it when stuff turns out that you don't think that it's... Um, 
Oh, Angela, I do too. That's my favorite color. It's called Light Turquoise from Anita's, and you get it at Hobby Lobby. It's like 79 cents. I have several, several bottles of this because everything in my room that you see this turquoise, like this share sign, I shouldn't have said that, that sprinkle sign, other things in here, that's that color. And um, I love, um, I love that blue. So, all right, so now I've got a little bitty T90 paintbrush and I got white on it. So I'm gonna, we, we gotta give him some light in his eyes because you know, that's the window to the soul. So we gotta give him some, some little, um, some little uh, dots or something in his eye to give him a little bit of life. So he looks like he's kind of got a little aliveness. So I'm just going to paint a line and I'm going to show you a line and then a little dot just to give it some, some little light in his eye. So see, I just painted a little line and a dot. That's all I did. That little, little line. Oh, the pink, I forgot to tell you what the pink color was. It's cameo pink by um apple barrel is what that was but see the little line in the dot that's easy see y'all got this um um so anyway so yeah anytime you see scrap wood y'all better snatch it up because you can do all kinds of stuff with it that's adorable just coming on to watch oh thank you julie okay freckles i could do let's see I don't know what else I need to do to him. If you wanted to paint his face like a burlap color or, or a tan color, you could. I just kind of wanted to leave him the weathered. I think that's really cute. Um, so now, I'm trying to think what I'm gonna do now. I think I might just add some little highlights here and there. I'm gonna just barely, this is a little bitty paintbrush. And I'm just gonna kind of go over his little stitches on his mouth just to kind of accentuate those a little bit I mean this is like a little bitty bitty paintbrush like got four hairs or something in it it's little bitty just gonna give him some little accents here and there I'm gonna do his little eyebrows and maybe some around his nose you'll see it just gives it a little um, something something extra little detail just to kind of make it kind of stand out just a little bit. Okay, so there's that. See how I just kind of went over the little stitches and then I put a few on his nose and I just kind of did a little bit up there just to kind of give it a little, a little pop to it. Yeah, you could make, you could do, you could put several paint sticks together and do the same exact thing that I'm doing here. Um, so there's so many possibilities that you can make this same craft with whatever you have. Um, straw. Yeah, we're going to get there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. So I got to move all my paint because I think we're oh, through with the paint for now. So I'm going to throw that away. My garbage can is overflowing and in, in full. So anyway, so I'm, we're going to put a patch on his hat. I'm going to put a little, since his nose is orange, I'm going to kind of throw in some orange with that, uh, with that turquoise. So this came from Walmart. They have some little fat, this is called a fat quarter, which is like a, is it a third of a yard, maybe? Um, so they have, they have, they come all rolled up in a little roll and they're like a dollar 47. And I love this plaid. I think it's so, so pretty. So I'm going to find my scissors. Rafi under his hat. Yeah, we're going to put some stuff on his hat. All right. So I'm just going to make a little, slit right here and i'm sure y'all seen people do this where they just tear the fabric like that because i want that i want that frayedness i want it to look frayed and old so let's see if i can do it up here i'll do it right right there i just cut a little slit like that and then you just tear it and it gives it that frayed look because that's what i want I'm going to do the same. So I'm making him a patch to go on his hat. Just to add a little color. Okay, so I got that. Let's see. So see how it looks worn and frayed all around the edges? And you can literally sit here and just pull out the threads and make it even more. Burlap will do the same way. And you can do, um, you can do burlap and pull out the threads of the burlap. And I started to do burlap 
But y'all know I'll get a hairball in my throat from all that stuff. I actually have it on my table over here, but uh, when I cut burlap, all those fibers just go everywhere and they get in my nose and make me sneeze. And anyway, I love burlap, but whew. Okay, so see, I just pulled some more out and made it kind of look all fuzzy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it and I'm going to actually just glue it. I'm actually gonna cover up, let's see. I might put it, cause I'm gonna put, we're gonna put some embellishments down here on his hat. So I think I might just kind of put it right up here like that. But see how pretty that orange looks on that turquoise? That's like the big thing this year is the turquoise and the orange. So I'm just going to put this, like just kind of put a little bit of glue just to get it to stay. You could glue it down with any other kind of glue, Mod Podge, whatever you want. I'm just gonna kinda smooth it all down. But look how stinking cute he looks. I got glue strings everywhere. Look at that. I just think that gives it that, it kinda blends it together here and there. Stop burlap from shredding. You can lightly paint over it with Mod Podge and it'll harden and makes, oh wow. Cause I, I cut that stuff and I'm telling you, it goes everywhere in here. Yes, Kaylee, I do like my new hot glue gun. It's an ad tech, it's from Walmart. It was only $9. My, the one that I had, I got it out of the garbage guys. I didn't throw it away. Um, I've had this gun for, same gun as this, just the newer version. I had this thing for like 13 years and it was wonderful. And up until recently when it decided to die, um, but it's got a high and, high and low, and I love it because it's got the precision tip on it, and I'm really liking that tip. It just doesn't ooze all out, but it doesn't leak. It's sitting over here. It doesn't drip or anything. Mm, I splashed water in my eye. Okay, so his patch is just on there, and it kind of looks like it's coming off, and, and that's okay. That's what I want it to look like. So now I'm going to break out the, the um, I got this whole bag of all kinds of stuff that I broke out. So this is like, when I had bits and bobbles of stuff left from projects, I'll throw them in a bag. And I have some of these, those are pit berries, and then the raffia. <laughs> so maybe I can make this work with this because I have raffia rage. So let's see. Did I doctor on the, oh no Nancy, I hadn't doctored on him yet. I did get him out of the garbage because y'all made me feel bad about it. <laughs> Put X, oh yeah, I can do that. Who said that? Put X's care and put, said put X's on his patch. I am, there we go. How about that? There we go, and I'm gonna draw some doodles on it. There we go, look at that. I just, thank you. See, that was just a little something it needed. I just put little X's on it or stitches and I just kind of ran my little marker around there. You could do it with a, with a um, Sharpie. You can do it with anything. Paintbrush. Okay. You're all right, Tarita. Okay, so here's my raffia. Now I just got to decide what I'm going to do with my raffia. Yeah, I probably should have put it under the brim of his hat where it was all coming out. But let's see if I can make this work. That's probably what I should have done. I saw where somebody said that. Um, where I can just kind of glue it. Okay. Because y'all know I get raffia rage. I don't know if y'all do too, but raffia does not. I just can't tame it down. <laughs> so I have to buy it on the roll like this, where it's all nice and tamed. This is just, uh, gives me rage. Okay. So yeah, so if you're doing this after I do it, probably need to put it underneath the hat, the brim. And I should have done that, but I didn't. So we're going to just make like I did. We're going to say... We're going to say I did. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit under the brim here and just kind of stick this down. So it's going to look like it's coming out, I guess, like hair or something, maybe. So we're going to see. But you can paint this any color you want to. You can make you a whole little um, village of, of uh, scarecrows. Okay. So maybe that don't, if that looks bad, y'all, I'll just take it off. Y'all tell me. Okay, I'm going to show you. Me. Let me rough up my raffia here. So should I take that off or does that look okay? And just kind of cut it down. It's wild now. So leave it and then put some on this side. 
Every time you see, see Robbie, Raphael, you think about me. Lori, you're so funny. Gotta have the wild rapper. No, I don't. Sure, it gets a tickle hearing you say that. Raphael Rage. No, Annette, I don't sell it as a kid. I'm just doing it as a, um, as a, um, just a craft tonight. But I do sell blanks in my shop, so, um, and I will be stocking those up as soon as I get off of here. And, um, I'll make a post and they'll y'all be can go and do it because I've I've been cutting for quite a few days. Let's see. And some bangs. Well I wanna cover up his eyebrows. Okay. I gave him eyebrows and I did them high. And I guess I should have done this. Yeah, so if you're doing this, you need to do this part first. Yeah, Raphael 101 for dummies, because that's definitely me. Along with the bow class, because I can't do bows either. Raphael on both sides. Yeah, I'm putting some on this side too. Because I can't handle this wild stuff. Like when I'm trying to make a bow with it, it looks like a hot mess. Leave the wild. Yeah, it, the wild looks good on here. But when I do a bow, it's, um, it, I can't get it to look like everybody else's. It's, um, it's just not my thing. Kind of like bows. I can't do bows either. I wonder if her ears were burning yesterday. Were y'all talking about me, Barbara? <laughs> Okay. All right. So there's that. Let's see if I can, like a hairdresser, I got to fix him. He's got some sprigs that don't want to act right. Okay. So there he is so far. Ta-da. All right. So now we are going to, is that enough, y'all think? Oh, thank you, Rebecca. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're here. I hope you stick around. And I hope you go up there and like hit my face and you can hit notify you when I go notify you when I go live and um and follow me. Okay, so these are from Dollar Tree. They come they're like uh they're paper flowers. It just says sunflowers. And I bought a couple of packs of these and I'm gonna put one of these on his hat because you know he's gotta have a sunflower on his hat. It was all good. Okay, Barbara. I didn't think y'all would say anything ugly. So I'm just gonna literally just try to pull this off this wire, but where's my wire cutters? Okay. The turquoise just looks so good. He makes me happy. Dance moves ready, you're almost at, oh my goodness, yes. I got, mm, I don't know about my dance moves, but yeah, I think I'll throw a fit. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put that down here, but I think he needs something underneath the flowers. So let's see, I'm gonna cut some pieces of my Tame Arafia on a roll. Tame Arafia. And then I'm gonna get some, I got some brown. I think I might grab some of it. I got this from Nashville Wraps and they have all this Rafia on a roll. They have every color you could possibly want. And it's more raffia than I will probably use in a lifetime on this roll right here. I don't even remember how many yards it is. But it's it's a lot of raffia on that roll. But it's like paper raffia. It's, um, but I like it. So, um, because I can, I can tame it down a little bit. Uh, yes, they have smaller ones too. I did grab those too. I keep a whole little drawer of all kinds of little embellishments like that that I get and Never know when you might need it. Okay, so maybe I need to tie, tie them together. Y'all think that's gonna look good underneath? I'm gonna cut it down though, I'm gonna cut it down. And put that there and like stick it under his hat like that. Or should I do, should I put some regular raffia under there? Or the colored, what do y'all think? Should I do the colored or should I do the, um, the regular raffia like that? Let's see if I can tame it down. Y'all know I got some hot, hot mess raffia. I know the blue just to me makes it cute. I started to do it like a navy color, but I was like, no, nope, I'm going to do it turquoise. going to do in turquoise. Thank y'all. Y'all are sweet. Welcome, Margaret. Okay. So y'all think I should do this color or do the, the regular with the colored? Oh, okay. We can do that. Let's see. I'm gonna cut it down because you know it's it's wild. Me and um, uh, Alexis from Purpose 
Purposeful Indulgence. If you haven't seen her, she's awesome. Um, she sells kits and stuff too. She, um, she, she has Raffia Rage too, and we talk about Raffia Rage. We had to find us some Raffia on a roll. So put it together. Let me mix it up a little bit better. Okay, so like that. Yes, I think that's better. Yeah, the colored makes it makes it kind of pop. But I'm going to cut it down so I'm, it's not going to look so um, so long. I just wanted to leave myself some. Now I forgot. I've lost the piece that I cut to tie it together with. Or did I even cut a piece? <laughs> I got a whole, whole mess of stuff if y'all can see my table. And when I get done with a live, it looks like a tornado come through. Because I had to, I had to, you know, I had to get out a whole bunch of stuff because, um... If I need something during the live and it's like, oh, what if I need that? And I have to get it because I hate to get up during the live and go, hey, y'all wait just a minute. <laughs> yeah, thank y'all for sprinkling. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of give it a little, I'm just going to kind of crunch it all up and kind of make it look. Yeah, I need a crow on the brim of his hat. That's what I need. I don't have a crow. Okay. So now. Where's, oh, I'm flattening my sunflower under here. So I think I'm gonna glue that down first. Then we'll give it a haircut when we get done. So I'm gonna glue my little raffia bundle like that. And you can get colored raffia, I think. Um, I wanna say Hobby Lobby has some in the floral department. I haven't really looked, but I know they have some colors. But um, the uh, Nashville Wraps is awesome. They have every color and more than you'll ever need in a lifetime. So, of course, I had to get Christmas colors, and I got fall colors. So, then I'm going to glue my sunflower down. I can't wait to see what y'all are going to do and put in the group, because I know y'all are going to run, run, run with this, and it's going to be adorable. But you could make this on a smaller version and put it on a tiered tray. Like I said, you could, I could make this into a scarecrow. Head the same exact way. That's the end of the paint stick. I'll throw it away. I throw it over here in a bin with all my wood stuff. Okay. So now I'm going to trim it. Look at this hair. Look, it's like brown. <laughs> it's like sticking up. Okay. He's got some wild hair. He's having a bad hair day. Where do you get it on a roll? It's a place called Nashville Wraps. Like wrapping paper. And they sell wrapping paper. Um, and you can buy it on the roll. And it's not expensive. I want to say like this roll right here was like $3. And it's, like I said, it's more raffia than I would use in a lifetime. But I, I have enough to last me for a long time. <laughs> Just a matter of finding a place to put the rolls. <laughs> so, this hair of his. his hair, look at his hair. Look at that. <laughs> I had to get the straightening iron after him and tame it down or something. That piece is wanting to just stand straight out. Now, okay, let me get it all. Maybe I need to trim some more. You know, always make it long because you can always cut off. You just can't add back. So, so make it longer than you think you're going to need. And then you can just kind of trim what you want off until you get to where you're liking it. Cause you can't add it back. There we go. Look at how cute he is. Isn't he precious? I just love him. 900 people. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Elizabeth. His hair looks like mine. Oh, I doubt that. It does not. <laughs> Look at it. It's like there's a piece that's going back here. It's crazy. What section is it in? Okay, y'all are talking about something. Looks like my hair sometimes. Well, it does not. <laughs> Curling's hair with your scissors control is a little more. Yeah, you can do it like the curling ribbon and it would probably be fine. Can you braid the raffia? Oh, Shelly. <laughs> you're, you're getting serious now with the braiding. Mississippi heat's getting... Yeah, he's got the Mississippi heat or the Texas heat or something going on in his hair. He's got the hurricane hair. It's coming. So, but yes, if you do this... I would probably put it underneath the brim of his hat. I just, you know, it's real life, and I totally did not do it. 
I would have probably glued some underneath before I glued that piece on. And I would have, you know, I could add some more and put some more on the sides, I guess, to make it look a little bit better. But isn't he cute? Ugh, he, you can't even, you cannot cut, you cannot tear this stuff. I have found that out. But look, this is what my raffia looks like. <laughs> oh. Yes, and I, is it Cecile? Yeah. I, um, and I just got this wood on the side of the road in my neighborhood. So, if my neighbor's watching, thank you for the wood on the side of the road. But, don't, yeah, don't throw old wood away. Don't, you know, my family knows they, you know, like, oh, Lord, she's going to stop and open the trunk, and we're going to have to get some stuff off the side of the road. <laughs> I'm not ashamed, I promise. It's recycling. Don't let it go to the, to the, um, recycling bin. Or we'll go to the dump or whatever. I don't know if he needs any more hair or not. Please autograph it for you. <laughs> You're so funny, Deidre. You're so funny. But isn't he cute? I think y'all can do it. I mean, if you can. It's ovals. A, tri a big triangle. A Sosalis triangle. See, we're learning our geometry. And then I just kind of did, you could even take blush for your face and you could do that on here just to make it subtle. And then I just did a squiggly line and some X's and just kind of highlighted it with some, some stuff. Um, so uh, that's all I did. And then I glued that and I did the sunflower and the little uh, raffia stuff. And you can get the raffia at Dollar Tree, the plain, uh, the plain. Yes, and see, it's already got holes in it, so I could totally just run some wire through there. You could add beads. You could do whatever and make this, um, you know, make this a, 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 a hanger if you wanted to. I didn't even think about that, and it's already got holes in the wood. <laughs> Wouldn't even have to drill them, because, I mean, I can see through them, so, yeah, it's totally all the way through. But um, no more, just adorable, yes. Isn't he cute? The blue is just, uh, that's just fabulous blue. <laughs> I love this color. But, you know, he would look cute if you did him, you know, like a denim color hat. You could cover it with burlap. You could cover it with scrapbook paper. It's just endless of what you could do. But um, I had to put him a little patch. I think it's really cute. So, um, yeah, and I changed my mind at the last minute from what I was going to do. Because I kind of really didn't know what I was going to do. But I had a little idea. Where did I get the rolls of raffia? It's called Nashville Wraps. Um, it's online. And um, you can get rolls of raffia. And um, just like this. And I'm telling you, I don't even know how many yards it is. It was on the cellophane on the outside. But it's more raffia than I can use in a, a lifetime. I promise. How did I do the mouth? I just took my little paint pen, which you could paint it or you could use a Sharpie too. And I just did a little squiggly line like that. That's all I did. Yes, you can draw that, Patricia. It is. It's two ovals. And then I did a lines over for his eyebrows. And then I made a big, long, skinny triangle. And I just squiggled for his mouth. That's it. You can do that. What's the name of the color again? It is called Light Turquoise, and it's Anita's at uh, Hobby Lobby. It's like probably the cheapest brand that they even sell, and I love their paint. I love it. Um, cut a crow out from the wood. I, yeah, I could cut a crow out, and you could put a little crow up here. or You could do all kinds of stuff. I have these little pumpkins. I was going to cut one of these pumpkins in half. And stick it on. But I don't think he needs it. These are from the Dollar Tree too. But you can cut them in half. They're just styrofoam. And I was going to stick it up here. But I don't think he needs it. Scrappy Scarecrow. That's right, Teresa. Do a link for the raffia. Um, I don't. But it's just, it's just called Nashville. Like Nashville, Tennessee. Wraps. W-R-A-P-S. That's all it is. The size of the wood. This is. Like I said, it was already this size when I got it. He is nine by five and a quarter. Nine by five and a quarter. And then this was a um, paint stick. But isn't he cute? See, you can make something out of 
Okay, yes. 100 yards and it's on sale. $2.99. I think mine were $2.99 a roll, yes. So if you're like really into raffia, <laughs> then that's the place to get it. But um, they don't have like this color, the regular color. They don't have this. Well, I say that. They they might have it. They just don't have it on the roll. The They're like, this is called like craft or something like that, craft paper color. And it's kind of a brownish, yellowish color. But see the difference? It's not exactly like the real raffia, but that's their color. So, um... No, it's, uh, Colleen, it's like $2.99 for a roll. And like I said, there's probably like 300 yards or something like that on this roll. I'll never use all this raffia. Is it 100 yards? Yes, it's 100 yards, sure. But that's a lot, y'all. That's a football field of raffia. Like, all the way down a football field. That's a lot. Oh, Colleen, you're sweet. Love all the crafts behind you. So cute. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be putting these up here just shortly. These are a little bitty. They're not the big ones, and I'll put that in the description so everybody would know this is not the big ones. Um, but they are just the little little bitty trucks. If you want to do um, Christmas ornaments, make tags for your Christmas ornaments or anything, or just little crafts. If you had a piece of wood and you could just, you know, make your little truck sign with the little trucks like this. Because I have the big ones too. I just haven't cut any this time. But I will be cutting them pretty soon. Yeah, Sharice. I was real pleased how it turned out. It didn't look too bad with the paint stick. Even though it was started out real wood. And this started out like this. So, yeah. It doesn't look too bad. I just painted it gray. Um, good tip on the raffia. Yeah. Sorry, where's your board from? Pam, it was just... Uh, I got a, I found a bin of scrap wood that was on the side of the road at one of my neighbor's house. They were throwing out and I just took the whole, it was like a huge rubber, rubber made container. Like it was a big container full of nothing but scrap wood. And I'm not shameful. I got out, opened my trunk, put it in there. I want gnomes. Do you have them in a Christmas tree? I will be putting out Christmas soon. I got to get to working on Christmas um, but I have some stuff coming up for y'all that's really cute. Um, I have a Halloween tear tray set that I got to put out. I've got a fall tear tray set that I designed, and I've got to cut it. Um, the candy corn on. No, I didn't. I just painted him. Um, I just painted him. I just striped his hat, and then I just did little squigglies down the side, and that's all I did. Really, I just did in the. The order of the candy cone, candy cone, candy corn colors, and I painted his nose and um, just kind of did his beard in white and gray and his little shoes black. And that was pretty much it. Yes, be sure to um, like and follow my page and turn on the notifications so you'll know when I go live. Um, thank you, Carol. Um, so you can. Um, I'm going to be loading them up. I don't have these this time because I just did those, but I didn't do the Santa gnomes. But the Santa gnomes are going up too, so I've cut a bunch of them. How do we get one of the little red trucks? Um, they're going to be in a set of four. As soon as I get off of here, I'm going to go straight to my shop, and I'm going to load up everything on there, and um, then they'll be ready to go. So you can order them. But I will post a link. It is um, If you go to the turquoisevalentine.com, and in the right-hand corner, it'll say shop, and you click that, and it'll take you right to my shop. And everything's there. That's right. One woman's trash is another woman's treasure. That's exactly right. In a wheelchair, and you got me interested in the Kickstarter glass salt and pepper shakers. Oh, good, Tracy. That's cool. Well, post them in the group. y'all. If y'all not a member of the group, it's totally free. It's at the top of, it's a pinned post at the top of my page, and you it'll take you straight to the um to the group and it just asks you, do you follow my page? And then you get in the group and you can post all your different, um, all your different crafts that you do and see what everybody else posts and kind of get ideas and bounce off each other and stuff. It's a real, it's a real great place to be because there's a lot of talented ladies in there. I'm just blown away every day. I get excited looking at all the different stuff that people do. Candy corn on because I'm painting some watching you. Oh, cool. 
I, I'm going to be honest. Every time I do candy corn, I have to Google it and look at a picture of a piece of candy corn because I never can remember the order of the colors. I know the white's on top, but I never know if it's yellow and orange or orange and yellow. I guess it doesn't matter, but I have to Google it every time. There, yeah, there's no more of this shape. I can cut them. I'll cut them next time. But I did the, um, I did the um, Santa gnomes this time. The, but you can make them into the fall ones. This is a Santa gnome. Like this gnome is a Santa gnome. Um, so he looks like he looks like this. Okay. But somebody in the group did one in the fall like this. And, of course, I had to go do it because <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I got to have a fall one. So, this is, you know, just how they look like Santa. And then somebody dressed him up like fall. So, I had to do the fall. Isn't it cute? You spent your weekend making these. Oh, that's fun, Jane. That is so fun. I'm glad y'all having fun with these because... These little guys are just the cutest. But then, this is the new gnome that I have. But he's every day. But you could make him Santa if you wanted to. You could paint him red and make him look like Santa Claus or whatever. Or Scarecrow. You could do whatever with him. So, um, but I'll cut these next time. But I did, I've got Santa one. Okay. Um, so, I'm fixing to get off. And I am going to um, go load all that up and make a post. And y'all get... To know first because y'all are on here live and also um if michelle limery cleveland if you're on here please message me your address um she won the set of welcome pumpkins that i did monday night on junk to jewels fall collaboration um you won the set of pumpkins so if you will message me and give me your address michelle limery cleveland i wrote her name down over here um, so she, act, she won the set of pumpkins. So thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Cecile. All right, Kathy, they're fixing to load up. So, all right, guys, well, I'm gonna hop off. I'm gonna load up the shop and I'm gonna make a post and they'll be there. So be looking out for them, okay, in just the next few minutes. Grandkids going back to school, and I am. Thank you for sharing. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for coming in, you know, faithfully and watching. Uh, it just overwhelms me where this is gone, and I cannot thank each one of you enough because I truly care and pray for y'all every night. Um, and I'm praying for all the people that are in the path of the storms. Y'all be safe and the California fires and the COVID. <laughs> so y'all be safe and... Um, Y'all, I will see y'all again Friday. So y'all have a good night, okay? I'll see y'all Friday, but I'm going to go put, load them up right now. Thank y'all for watching. See you later.